Jamel, 3 0, you were happy with that? Uh, to start with, I wasn't, but by the end of the game, I mean, like, we had to grind it out. In the first half, we didn't start as well as we could have, but getting two goals before half time and then Warren coming back in and getting a goal as well, I think it, it really put us in motion. What was your thoughts when basically take the crossbar in the first minute? <laughs> I think I sort of looked around and everyone was a little bit like, oh, we're, we're in for a game today. Not that we didn't expect to be, but. I mean, them having the ascendancy, especially early on, and we sort of like had to ride that wave and find our feet and get our confidence back up again, and it shows with the end result, to be honest. And um, after that result on Monday, how important was that to, to get a convincing win to the... Oh, massive, massive. I mean, looking at the amount of players that have come and gone over the last two years, and that being our first league defeat in that long, I mean, I don't know how many clubs and how many teams can go on a run like that, but we've managed to do so, I mean, with some fantastic players, and of course, like, credit to Ernie and Marcel, and all the management, you know, because it's not an easy thing to do. And after being so used to winning the league, coming back in today into a league game straight away, and it's like, this can't be a habit losing. You know, that's not what we're about. We're a winning side and we're a side that sit together. And you look at the first half, we had to grind out early on and then we're back, you know, three points in the bag. And then we're home again next week mm -hmm. against Corinthians, well, uh, sorry, uh, Crowborough. What, what type of game are you expecting against them? Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know anything about them. I don't know the players or anything like that. Um, I know they've been quite a good run recently, but in terms of personnel, I couldn't tell you. I don't know how they play, so I guess we'll just go in with open open minds and, and hopefully get a three points again. And then the one after that, we're away to Glebe midweek. Low will be gunning for us, obviously, because uh, they're just below us in the league table currently. Are you expecting perhaps our toughest away game up in Chatham? Yeah, I mean, like looking at the Glebe game that was here, 3-0 down at half time but all the boys put in so much effort in that second half and I think if we look at the way the second half went if we had played like that I know of course I was injured but if the team had played like that in the first half then it could have been a completely different result but we're not to know you know we'll always prepare right we know that keep prepare right um, but again it's that sort of local rivalry, uh, rivalry as well where so many of the boys know each other so we know their games they know our games but it's just on the day a Tuesday evening is never easy anyway but We'll make sure that we're, we're ready for them and get a three points. So fingers crossed we're actually going to finish the season uh, mm -hmm. this year. And you've been here a while and we've had two seasons that unfortunately have been cut short. Yeah. How important is it to you to actually tick off that, that you know, <coughs> I've, I've played for a whole season for Sheffield United finally. Yeah, that'll be the first time. Literally this season will be the first time. It's really strange because like... The relationships that not only I've built with other people, but other people have built within the team. And of course, like, we've still got so many friends that have played with us and then gone, you know, it's like, how is it that we've been here for so long, I've been here for so long and never played a full season and still feel as though like I spent so much time there. Sometimes I feel as though we've been a training and I wake up again and it's almost as if we're straight back into football again, which is brilliant because of course everyone wants to play football as much as possible. Um, and luckily it looks as though we are going to be able to complete the season. I think that would be, that'd be the best thing for everybody. But again, I guess we wait for the guidance and then take from there. So no game next Tuesday, but after that, let's say we've got Glebe midweek and, and then we got like three or four weeks where we're playing midweek every game. Yeah. For someone, for a part-time footballer, well, yeah, how easy is it to play the game, get home, switch off and then have to go to work the next day? Uh, not easy at all. Honestly, it's not. I mean, like, for a lot of people to have to play on a Saturday, for example, and then like be sociable on a Saturday evening and then we're back to football on Tuesday of course but you still might have to work tomorrow morning or some people might have to work this evening you know um, a lot of people obviously work during the day during the week but not only is it difficult to do what's required of you it's also difficult to do even more than that you know so I'm somebody that I go above and beyond I mean I train in the mornings before I go to work then I go to football you know I'm, I'm back home doing my recovery again and then it's like it's it's a constant thing of how can I get the best out of myself, you know? And that's what a lot of people have to do, but again, everyone's circumstances are, are completely different, you know? So credit to those that are able to be consistent, not only in football, but in work and everyday life, you know? Some people have children, some people have families, some people obviously dealing with like COVID, like it's it's all up in the air at the moment, but again, we all try, we all try our best. Brilliant, thanks, Jamal. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs>